Folks, a little while back I made a video about my ammo can power supply, a 24 volt power supply I made from rack mount server power supplies. Uh, I have other videos about that, making a, making a 12 volt power supply. I had the novel idea of putting one inside a box <laughs> so I could carry it around more easily. And uh, if you watch that video, you know that the, the presentation was not the best of, of the power supply, not of the video. Uh, the, the metal ammo can just gave me a heck of a time working with the metal, cutting the metal. I just didn't really have the right tools for the job, and it was really not the best. Also, I had some really ugly hot glue uh, holding my... Anyway, it was a pretty... It was a first pass. Let's just say that. Well, I've made a second pass, and I wanted to show it to you because I'm awfully darn proud of it. Here it is. Let me present it. Uh, this is my Mark II ammo can power supply. And you can see here I've used proper uh, banana terminals, banana posts, uh, for the uh, for the plugs, I've got my uh, meters showing the uh, wattage and voltage going in, and I've got my adjustable regulated supply on the left. Very nice, very nice. Here's a take. Here's a quick look at the inside. Uh, I've got everything strapped down, all my wiring done up, nice and neat. A little bit of hot glue there on the inside where no one can see it, <laughs> so I think that's all right. And on the front, we've got these air intakes filtered so that dust doesn't get in there if I'm using it out at the field. And on the back, there's a computer fan uh, pulling air through. Uh, nicely grommeted cable, uh, no metal to cut through the cable. Uh, I had a grommet on the other one, but it wasn't quite snug, and the cable could uh, could move around, so now it's nice and snug. And I'll tell you, if you're going to do a project like this yourself, I highly recommend that you get one of these plastic ammo cans. I got mine off of Amazon, and if you just search for uh, ammo can is what they're called. You'll see some metal ones, but you'll also see some plastic ones. Uh, the metal ones certainly have some advantages, especially if you're moving actual ammunition. But if you're just doing a project like this, the plastic is so much easier to work with. You know, drill bits or Dremel or whatever will cut it so much easier. The metal is, is really a, a real pain in the butt. Anyway, there you go. I wanted to show you Mark II only because Mark I was just, uh, well, it wasn't up to my normal standards. And now I've brought this project up to uh, a much higher standard. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.